The Horses by Ted Hughes I climbed through woods in the hour before dawn dark evil air a frost making stillness not a leaf not a bird a world cast in frost I came out above the wood where my breath left torturous statues in the iron light, but the valleys were draining the darkness till the mooring, blackening dregs of the brightening gray have the sky ahead. And I saw the horses, huge in the dense gray, ten together, Megalith still. They breathed, making no move, with the draped manes and tilted hind hooves, making no sound. I passed. Not one snorted or jerked its head. Gray, silent fragments of a gray, silent world. I listened in emptiness on the moor ridge. The curlew's tear turned its edge on the silence. Slowly, detail leafed from the darkness. Then the sun, orange, red, red erupted. Silently, and splitting to its core, tore and flung cloud, shook the gulf open, showed blue, and the big planets hanging. I turned, stumbling in the fever of a dream, down towards the dark woods, from the kindling tops, and came to the horses. There, still, they stood but now steaming and glistening under the flow of light. Their draped stone manes, their tilted hind hooves, stirring under a thaw while all around them the frost showed its fires. But still, they made no sound. Not one snorted or stamped. Their hung heads patient as the horizons, high over valleys in the red leveling rays, in din of crowded streets, going among the years, the faces, may I still meet my memory in so lonely a place, between the streams and red clouds, hearing the curlews, hearing the horizons endure.